Hello and welcome to another episode of the Military and Monetary Channel. Today I would like to show you some pieces from my Soviet World War II collection. I've been collecting Soviet items for at least 15 years and the main focus has always been the Second World War. Uh, medals, orders, bayonets, etc. So I want to show you some items uh, and I hope you will enjoy it. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, share the video if you want to. Thanks a lot. So, let's start with some field gear, shall we? I'm just gonna clean the table. So, first out are the bayonets. And Russia is of course a very big country which of course also means a big army. And having a lot of soldiers to equip sometimes leads to sticking to old designs rather than developing new ones. And the Soviet World War II bay bayonets are a perfect example of this. This is a bayonet for the Mosinagant rifle. And this bayonet is a model 1891-30. Looks like this. And this is a very typical design for bayonets when we're talking 1800s, late 1800s. A lot of other countries, they switched to the knife bayonet. Much sooner than the Soviet Union did. This is a bayonet for the SVT-40 rifle. Also known as the Tukarev rifle. And this means that the Soviet Union got their first knife bayonet in 1940 which is quite late compared to a lot of other countries. And it looks like this. This example has clearly been used in active service. Still in a quite good condition. The design of this bayonet is quite simple, straightforward. For example, the scabbard and the fastening device. The Mosinagant rifle was used throughout the entire war and as I said this type of bayonet was used up until 1940. The SVT-40, the Tukarev rifle, uh, it was supposed to be the new service rifle for the Red Army but the German invasion in 1941 it disrupted the production of that rifle which led to going back to the Mosinagant rifle again. But the Tukarev rifles already produced, they were used throughout the entire war. So, let's continue to the hand grenade. Here we have it. This is an RGD-33 hand grenade, designed in 1933. And it was designed and manufactured to replace the much later model 1914 grenade, 
that was used during the First World War. It's made completely out of metal. You can still see some of the, the original color here, the green color. It's not in the best shape. I'm not sure if it's been found underground maybe, or dug up. And this is the fragmentation jacket. And what is a fragmentation jacket? Well, you take this part and slide it over like that. And then you fasten it with this. I'm not gonna touch it though, quite rusty. Oh, it still works. Like that, keeps it in place. And what happens is that when the grenade explodes, this metal sleeve, it um, fragmentates into several small pieces. You can see this kind of waffle pattern here, which of course means that all these small metal pieces, they cause a lot of damage. This grenade, it was complicated both to use and to manufacture. Uh, and after the German invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941, it was replaced with a very much simpler RG42 grenade. So let's continue to the medals and orders. I have always had a special interest in medals and orders. The Soviet Union, of course, is no exception. Let's start with this box. It's a quite wide variety of medals and orders, but they are all World War II issues. For example, we have the Order of Glory, third class. Looks like this. The range of 200,000. We also have a really nice World War II example of the Order of the Red Banner. I like this one a lot. Let's see if you can see the number. 180,000. We have the Medal for Courage, Medal for Victory over Germany, over Japan. We have a nice guard badge, well worn, but I really don't mind. I do enjoy some patina on my medals. After all, the Soviets, they actually wore their medals in active service during the war. A lot of other countries didn't do that, but if a Soviet soldier would, for example, earn an order of glory, he would wear it on him in combat. Which, of course, is the reason why a lot of them are in a quite bad condition. And this small award group is also quite interesting. You have the Medal for Battle Merit, uh, the Leningrad Medal, and for victory over Germany. Unfortunately, the document for the Leningrad medal is missing. But the others are there. This is what a 
medal document looks like for the battle merit medal or for a lot of medals because they wrote down the medals received and the numbers and according to this one there's also a battle merit medal without a serial number awarded after the war that one is sadly missing as well but the metal bar is is really nice i like it the condition is well what you could say salty but very nice with a very nice period hanger as well So, let's continue to the next box. And here we have something else that I find interesting when it comes to Soviet medals. These are campaign medals. A lot of countries, they had a, what could you say, a participant medal. And then if you had taken part in a specific operation or battle, you got a clasp, for example, to wear on the ribbon. But the Soviet Union, they issued medals for a lot of different battles during World War II. For example, defending a city, uh, liberate a city, or fighting in a specific area. And these are all campaign medals. You have, for example, the campaign medal for Moscow, Berlin, uh, Leningrad, Stalingrad, the Soviet polar regions. I don't have all of them yet. Uh, I'm still missing a few, but it's a really nice area of collecting. I should probably mention the rest of them as well. Here you have Budapest, the Caucasus medal. You have the Prague medal, Warsaw and Vienna. So that's probably it. Well, uh, we have these cap stars as well. This is an earlier type of cap star. As you can see the hammer and sickle are a separate piece. As a lot of other armies during the Second World War did, uh, things got simpler and simpler. The ways of manufacturing things had to be more efficient as the war went on. So here is another type. And we have the green field star which is practically pressed metal quite rough edges so that's it for now thanks a lot for joining me and taking a look at parts of my collection i hope you enjoyed it so see you next time